Hey everybody, it's Angela and I am back with another design team project for Saw Crafters and I am going to be assembling this police public call box and I have previously spray painted this all and I spray painted the light that's on top, this metallic gold and the box I spray painted with some paint I got at Michael's and the brand name is called Design Master and the color is called Blue Marlin and it was the perfect color for this project and I'm not going to do too much other decorating to this. I'm going to put a mini album inside of it and that's going to serve more as my decoration. So I'm going to leave the outside of the police box pretty plain. And so I'm just kind of dry fitting this to see how it goes together before I go ahead and, and glue everything. And then the mini album that I put inside is going to be Doctor Who themed because uh, for those of you who don't know, Doctor Who is a science fiction show, a British television show that's been running since the 60s and his spaceship was inside a, of a police box. So I looked through my Saw Crafters mini albums that I had in my stash and I like these door and window ones but they were too tall and these chipboard ones I had one was too tall and one is too short and so I decided to go with this taller one and cut it down to fit the size of the box and I'm just going to save the other ones to do at a later time. And to assemble the box, if you don't want to watch any of the assembly and uh, you want to go straight to the finished project, just skip ahead to, I think, 13 minutes and that's where I show the final outcome of the whole pro project. Uh, but for those of you interested in how this goes together, I'm just using some Aileen's wood glue and just gluing the little tabs and stuff where they meet up with each other and then they kind of interlock and so it works really easy and like I said since I've already pre-painted this and I'm not going to do any other decoration this takes literally just minutes to put together. I'm just kind of wiping off some of the excess glue that comes out. I don't really have to since this will dry clear uh, but it's super easy to wipe off since I've already got a painted surface. And I cut my album down using the Tim Holtz on the edge dies, the tab dies, and then I'm just rounding off some of the extra corners there. And I decided to just ink the whole tab portion black because I'm not going to cover that with paper. And I'm undecided as to whether I'm going to cover the domed part of the top of the tag there. I'm thinking about it. And I wasn't sure, so I just inked that too, but I do wind up covering that with paper. And then I round, round the edges where I can, uh, but because of the tab, it kind of interferes with my corner rounder. So I just kind of finish it off with my scissors to kind of match that and then take an emery board and clean up the, the edges. And so that's super easy to do. And I'm just using some Heidi Swap black ink to do my edging. And after I get all those done, I'm going to cover them with paper and I pulled out some from the DCWV World Traveler stack, that blue one uh, with the spot varnish of dots on it, which is really cool. Some of these at-home papers and also a Constellation paper from the Basic Gray. I believe it was called Aurora. I never had the full collection, but I have one of the sheets of paper and a few of the embellishments from, the, from that Aurora kit. So I use those in this album as well. So I just trace my page onto the back of my paper and then I cut on the inside of the line. And I'm going to go around there and like I said, I go ahead and keep the dome on the top of the tag, but I'm just going to cut off the tab at the bottom. And then I just go ahead and get that cleaned up and it fits on there just perfect. So I go ahead, I use some glue stick in the middle and I also put a little bit of the scotch tacky glue on there. I know I'm weird but I like to hedge my bets with two different kinds of glue wherever I can um, just to make sure things don't fall apart later. And I just go ahead and put that on and then I'm going to also use the same ink to go around and ink just the edge of the paper to give it kind of a finished look. If any of the edges hang over you know or aren't on there super straight you can use your emery board again just to clean up the edges of the paper 
and then I repunch the hole and that is it. I'm going to do that for all the pages. There I'm flipping through, there's the constellation page and the others all in just blues to fit my theme. And I decide to do the inside of my album with a landscape, flipping the book from side to side instead of flipping it up in more of a portrait mode. So on the left hand side, my recipe is going to be on the left hand side, I'm going to do some waterfall pages. So I just took a bunch of blue cardstock from my stash and I'm putting on some of this really strong score tape. It's a double sided tape and I'm going to tape three of those to each left hand side interior page and then I'm going to save the right hand page for a large photo. So there I've got all my pages done and I had to use several different blue card stocks so I didn't have enough to match to do the whole thing so I'm just going to make it so all the pages are different colors of blue and that way you won't be able to tell that you know I didn't have enough of one to do the whole thing. So I go ahead and kind of burnish that sticky tape down that makes it easier to pull the paper strip backings off. And then again, I hedge my bets. I use just a tiny bit of wet glue on there as well. And I'm just going to adhere that down. And that'll be my first page. Then I'll do the same thing with this second page. And I'm just going to nestle it right up to the first one. and get those lined up and then I am going to do one more of a different color like you can see I did kind of a little bit different color or texture of cardstock since I didn't have enough to do the whole thing I'm just going to nestle that one in there as well and then that's all I'm going to do for all the pages and so I went online I printed out a bunch of photos uh, of different Doctor Who's from all through all the shows and a bunch of quotes as well and that was so much fun I watched mostly the classic ones I started with the black and whites and the classics I have not watched all the new ones they have out so I'm excited to do that this really kind of um, made me realize how much I enjoyed the show and want to watch the the new series that came out but I haven't had TV in a long time so um, I'm gonna have to find the shows somewhere so that I can watch them and so this is a saw crafters chipboard clock that I'm going to use on the front cover. And I'm just taking the Doctor Who logo and putting it on the inside of that. And then I set it aside to dry. And then I have a bunch of these tabs left over from when I used to get the Scraptastic, I think it was called This Life Noted kits, and I had always a bunch of extra tabs. And so I just pulled out a bunch of metallics, blues and blacks and grays. Um, to use on this and I'm going to put a little tab on each of the waterfall pages and then I'm kind of looking through I dove into a bunch of really old stuff here in my stash and I don't wind up using everything I'm showing here but this is what I kind of pull from I found a few things with question marks I pulled out a lot of metal pieces out of my stash clocks keys locks um, yeah and like some metal medallions and it was a lot of fun to go through my stash get reacquainted with what I've got in there and just be able to use a bunch of it so I'm just pulling out a bunch of different clock faces and charms out of here some keys like skeleton keys and then I have these little metal medallions from I believe that's hot off the press or paper wishes uh, they're like Brad Buddies or something and I use one of those on on each of the um, waterfall pages as well so in order to glue the metal onto the mini album I go ahead and I use some E6000 glue which is a really strong adhesive and it is made for metal surfaces so that's one thing you have to keep in mind um, this little lock plate is just a brad so I go ahead and just put that right down make sure it's straight and those were from Joann's really old 
And then here are the few pieces of the Aurora collection. I think a few of them I got from Mercy Tara when I won uh, one of her monthly challenges. And then one I had found at Tuesday morning. And they had a lot of good constellation type things in there. And little chipboard pieces that I really liked. And I wind up using some of those on my project. And I really like this constellation frame. So I'm going to make sure that that gets in there somewhere. And then it's just kind of uh, going through the stash, finding little bits and sticking them in different places. And I just wanted to, again, show the E6000 glue that I use on the metal pieces. Um, I don't know what else. I don't know if the craft glue would work to hold that or not. It might, but I've always had really good luck with E6000. It is kind of stinky though, so you know, make sure you have a well-ventilated area. And I'm just putting down, yeah, I use a lot of metal pieces on this and kind of try to give it a little bit more of a steampunky kind of look. And so now I'm off doing something. I don't know what. Oh, I'm getting a bunch of dazzles and these are from hot off the press as well. And I have a bunch of them. I used to belong to their um, monthly personal shopper and uh, they also are in a town not far from me so when they would have their warehouse sale back in the day I would just drive there and get these for really inexpensive prices and so I have a bunch of them these smaller sheets and then also I have some bigger like 12 by 12 type kits so I'm just going through and pulling out a bunch of the black gold and silver dazzles and I use those pretty much on every page in here because they're nice and flat and they don't bulk up the album to where it won't fit inside the box. That's the one thing I was worried about, not letting it get too chunky and not fitting into the police box. So these dazzles work great for that. And um, yeah, they just give a touch of color and stuff and shine throughout the whole album. So I pull out, they do have a steampunk kind of version of these and then I just pulled a lot of various anything with stars on it because it's kind of has a space theme and I'm just putting this black one down as a stripe on the front of the album and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna put that question mark clip on there I wind up actually taking that question mark off the clip and gluing it down to the front later and you'll see that at the end when I do the flip through but for now, I am going to just go ahead and glue this clock with the logo on the front, and then I'll trim off that one edge that hangs over. And so here is the finished product, and I love how it turned out. Um, it fits in the box, and you can see all the little dangles and the logo and stuff through the front, so it kind of decorates the box. You could do more decorating on the actual box itself, but I decided to just leave it like this. And so I love how it turned out. I just did not glue the top of the box on there so it acts as a lid. And then you can just use the little light to take the lid off. So that's how it looks like when it's in the box. And then I take that and it just, it works really good because you can grab on to the binder ring that holds it and it just pulls right out so easy. So that worked out really good as well, having a kind of a tag album because it really gives you like a handle to pull that out. And those are the charms and stuff that I have on the front. So I'm just going to move that out of the way so I can um, zoom in a little closer here. And there you can see I fussy cut a police box and a Dalek to stick on the front of the album as well. And then on the binder ring, I tied a bunch of blue and metallic fibers on there just to kind of soften that up a little bit. And then I have this metal clock hand that I've attached to the chain as well as a skeleton key, um, a small skeleton key, a little stopwatch, and then that big 
question mark piece. And I don't remember where I got that, but it's just perfect for this. So those are all the charms on the binder ring. And then you can see that small question mark that I took off the clip and wound up sticking on there. I put some more black dazzles on the front as well. So you can see the question mark has a little bit of dimension, but not too bad. Some more dazzles there in the right hand corner. So pretty simple. And that is the front and then you turn it and flip from the side. And what I did was, um, of course, you can see the dazzles I put on there and the metal pieces. But on the tabs and all over in here, I put a bunch of quotes. And you can see I put down there like pocket watch, fedora, um, things that each of the different like bow tie and fez, wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff, bow ties are fun, things like that that the doctor said or items that he carried with him, um, time and relative dimension and space that stands for TARDIS. And it was just a lot of fun to go through and pull out all different kinds of word, descriptive words and small quotes and larger quotes and put them all in here. And I made sure to include a lot of the, the newer episode doctors in here as well of the 12 different actors that have played Doctor Who, uh, because I do plan on now going back and watching these. I put scarf, um, you know, I tried to put things near the doctor that they kind of went with, you know, like sonic screwdriver and, you know, stuff like that. But um, there, I wasn't really picky with that. I just put them wherever. And there you can see more of the dazzles and then that metal medallion piece. And then I'd put a larger picture on the right. And that's one of the black and white, one of the original Doctor Who shows that I remember watching as a kid. And there's K9. And I just put a little key on that tab. But yeah, I just put a bunch of different quotes and the different actors. Then I used a bow tie clip for the bow ties are cool. And I just stapled that on with my tiny attacher. I used a lot of stars. And again, another one of those metal medallions and more of the dazzle stickers. This one along the right hand side, I used three different metal pieces, a flat clock face, and then two more dimensional clock charms. And then again, more quotes and dazzles. And I use some of the gears, like I said, to kind of give some of that steampunky feel. And there's all kinds of stuff, you know, on the internet. They have a lot of the quotes and I just, um, you know, printed a bunch of them out and cut them up. Again, another one of those big metal medallions. And then on this very last page, I put a flip up. I show all 12 different doctors throughout all the different episodes or series. Then I put a TARDIS. And then I put the names of each of the doctors, the each of the 12 doctors plus the war doctor in there. And then a dazzle sticker on the back of that cool pocket watch with the gears in there. And so, yeah, I really, really love how this turned out. And I might even find more stuff and paper clip it in there and, you know, let this grow because I do have a little bit of extra space in there. It wasn't as bulky as I thought it was going to be, which was kind of nice. And, um, yeah, so if you're interested in getting any of the mini albums, the clock, the police box, um, I will put links to all of Sawcrafters products below. And if you use the code ANGELAFANS when you're ordering, uh, you'll get 10% off 
of your order if it's $30 or more in her shop. So I will go ahead and make sure all that information is down in the description box. And I have a little bit of a hard time getting the lid back on because you have to turn it to the which way the tabs fit, but then it clicks right into place. One more turn, there we go. And it snaps right into place and then I can set it up on my shelf. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions or anything on any of this process or any of the products, you know, please let me know. Some of them were really old and out of my stash, so I may not know the manufacturers of some of the old items, but I'll definitely check for you if you're interested. And so there are going to be a couple of still item, still photographs here at the end. And it just shows um, the all the interior pages and then a couple still shots of the finished box. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.